So in this video, I'm going to do a quick review of a great Mac iPad feature found within the latest OS Catalina and above. It's called Sidecar. I'm going to guide you to using the Sidecar tool to add your iPad to your Mac environment as a second display, third display. Not only will you have an ultra high def display, but you're actually going to have something that we've all wanted from Apple for so many years in our Mac environments. You're going to get the best of both worlds here. Plus the real icing on the cake there, you will have a touchscreen environment in your Mac ecosystem. Finally. Hey, what's up? Scott Horton here. If this is your first time to this channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. I am technical support and a technical entrepreneur. And this channel is about helping you find useful and creative solutions for your home, office, and personal computing spaces. So go ahead and subscribe, like, hit that bell button for new notifications. Okay, so here we are on the Mac OS Catalina desktop and we're next to an iPad Pro. They're both signed in to the same Apple ID and they are both within 30 feet of proximity of each other. So they're nearby each other. They're going to be able to see each other. They both have the same Apple ID login. And so let's take a look in our system preferences at the displays property briefly, just so you can see what the current display is. So what we have here is just simply the Mac display. We're not connected to anything else right now. So let's set that aside and go back into system preferences and look at sidecar. And so here we are, we're looking at a sidecar rendition of an iPad and as a desktop additional display show the sidebar you can choose on whether you want the sidebar on the left or the right i like the right show the touch bar this is so cool so the touch bar on the macbook can now be seen and utilized on the top or the bottom or not at all on your ipad so you can have touch bar access enable double tap on apple pencil yes you want the apple pencil i think it's great to be able to scroll vertically and switch over to scrolling horizontally through large documents things like that so here we are with the basic uh, connection object here connect to drop down menu if i had more devices that i was signed into i could select the other ipads this is my one iPad, so we're, we're going to connect to that. So I'm going to connect to that and I wait. Whoa, there it is. I didn't even unlock the iPad. I didn't do anything. And there it is. Look at this. We have our root Apple menu here. I'm still using my mouse. This is so cool. Let's see here. System preferences, edit view this is really fantastic touchpad finder you can actually scroll on to the next screen of course the max native screen is not touch enabled so i'll use the mouse and i'll move it back over the mouse is universal between both displays but the pencil is good here. Here's some notes I have. I can add a page. Here's a keynote. I can move it over here. I can interface with it via touch. Create a presentation. Can you believe it? I can even use the touchpad on the... I can't use my fingers. Let's start over on this part again. So here you are with the Mac desktop 
we've connected with Sidecar. Let's go ahead and open up those display properties again, just to take a look and see what it's like on the arrangement. Now we have the arrangement tab when there's more than one. And so you can see now that we have this, we can make this display on this side, and then we could scroll like that. Not the most intuitive approach, but we could do that. And so here we have the native screen and we have the extended screen, the sidecar screen. So fabulous. And so now that we have these two screens, we can move things readily back and forth. We can do something like open up notes on a Mac. We can say a new note. We can bring it over here. You can even move it around with your Apple Pencil. And watch this on the iPad's keyboard. You can even type and I can take this back in to my root screen. It doesn't matter anymore. I am working on my Mac via my iPad with touch screen interfacing there. And that is such a treat. That's what we've always been wanting in the MacBook community. And so here you have it. You have now a ultra high def second display. And check this out with touchscreen features in the Mac OS Catalina support. So what a fabulous tool. It's such a win. I had to share. I hope you got something out of it. And thank you again for watching.